everyone, this is Melissa coming to you from thefatappleNYC.com. I'm bringing you my weekly roundup, my weekly top three, I should say, at least in this case. The number one thing I want to talk to you about is Crystal Wren. She is amazing, beautiful, talented, super sweet woman that I had the opportunity to meet last year. She's now the new face, or should I have to say legs, of Jimmy Choo's spring summer 2011 collection she's also the new face of d squared which is really great for her and i congratulate her though my only issue that i'm taking and i have to say this to someone so i guess i might as well say it to you is designers using models such as crystal wren so that they can garner headlines and a lot of publicity because they're using a quote-unquote plus size model now, like I said, nothing against Crystal Wren. She's amazing, beautiful, and talented. She's also a size 6 or a size 8. And I met her in person, and I've seen her a lot of her work that she's done. Um, and she's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but like I said, she's a size 6 or 8. I challenge designers and companies to use plus-size women, real plus-size women. And when I say real, I mean women who have to shop in plus-size clothing stores. Most plus size clothing stores start at about a 12 or 14. So if you're a 12 or 14 or bigger, then please, companies, use these women. They're beautiful too. And they're plus size. And any information and any uh, publicity that you garner from them will be real because they're really plus size. The second thing is John Ishaya, an LA based designer, is going to be doing a new line of clothing with Torrid and Hot Topic. I'm super excited about that because I've taken a look at um, a really cool show called Beyond the Threads. Uh, they went to Johnny Shia's house and looked at his design aesthetic for his home and also how he designs. He has a really kind of eclectic yet contemporary yet modern style, which if you can be all that, why not be all that? Be all you can be. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what those clothing, the clothing pieces are going to look like when they get into stores. The clothing should be in stores uh, May, I believe, and they're only going to be seven or eight pieces to start out with, so it's a pretty small line, but hey, it's somewhere to start. And all the pieces should be $60 and under. I'm really excited about designers collaborating with clothing stores that are more accessible, like Hot Topic. But not only Hot Topic, Johnny Shy is also working with Torrid, which is their plus size line, um, or I should say plus size line of stores. Um, he had an opportunity, he could have just said, I'm just working with Hot Topic and doing the regular straight size clothing, but he also made the decision to work with Torrid, which is really great, and I'm excited for that. Lastly, Redress NYC is a really amazing vintage and resale clothing shop in Brooklyn and New York City. If you've had the opportunity to go, you know how amazing the store is, you know how amazing the shop girls are that work there, and you know how great Deb Malkin, the owner of Redress, is. It's a really great store, and not only is it a store, but Deb allows a lot of community folks to utilize the store for meetings, for meetups, for um, launches of lines, and just as an open community space. And that's one of the things I really love about Redress, outside of being able to buy vintage clothing for my size. So if you have a chance, go to redressnyc.com. That's R-E-D-R-E-S-S-N-Y-C.com. And vote for them. They're in a competition to win a grant, an Intuit grant, so that they can open an online store. So that they can bring their vintage clothing to the masses, not only those people who can actually make it into the store. So that's my weekly roundup. Again, this is Melissa coming to you from thefatappleNYC.com. Have a great week. I hope you're not feeling as sick as I am. I'm actually a little bit under the weather. There's been a lot of snow in New York and also in the South, which is crazy. So I hope you're doing well and you're not feeling sick and that your second week of the new year has been good to you. Have a good one.